Okay, welcome back to the second lesson. Uh, we've already gone through a few uh, tools available to us to um, create the walls. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is drawing in some windows, and we'll start that now. So, start a line either by pressing L at the command prompt and hitting Enter or Return, or you can pick the line command at the top here. Now we want to snap on to this wall. Uh, remember that um, we need to have our snaps on uh, to connect to those walls. So uh, press F3 if it's not already. And if it's not snapping, uh, it means that your um, object snaps aren't set up to snap to the endpoints. So you can do one or two things. Hold down Control, press the right mouse key, and a menu will pop up and click endpoint and then we can click from there to there press enter return to get out of the line command press it again to start the command again and we'll draw in a frame now what this uh, next thing we're going to do is use called uh, a polyline a polyline is basically a series of lines but they're all connected together so to do that type pl at the uh, command prompt press enter or space and ask for our first point. So we'll click there and then move our mouse to the left and it should be straight on um, having a straight line coming through there. If you don't, press F8 and it'll be ortho. Now we'll type in uh, 90. Actually we'll make it 140. So that's 140 millimeters. Hit into our return. Um, as you can see the command is still active down here in the command prompt. Um, so now it's asking us for the next point. So we'll select uh, 40 mil in an upwards direction, and then 140 again back this way. And to close it, we can either click on the point we started at, or we can type C and then enter a space. Before I do that, you can see down here there's always a, a list of things that come up. Uh, what you want to do in the middle of the command. In this case, we're just going to do close. C close. So enter. And if we go down to, um, we'll go over to our object we just created and select it, we can see that it's um, it's one uh, continuous uh, rectangle. Um, so that's that can be quite useful uh, in many cases. Uh, I'll show a few things later on with hatches how it's useful. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to move a copy of this so over the other side. So we can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, one way to do it is to um, select it and select on uh, this point here and now you can see it's red um, it means it's a hot um, a hot grip now um, and down the bottom here once we um, enable that grip mode with the red uh, square um, if we press the spacebar it'll cycle through um, a few things we can do so the stretch, if I press space again, there's move. If I do uh, space again, it's rotate. Space again, it's scale. Space again, mirror. And if I press space again, it goes back to stretch. So in this case, we want to do move, so press space again. So we've got move command. And as you can see down here at the command prompt, um, if we press C and enter or space, it'll be a copy. So we want to move a copy of that to there. So there you go, that's um, one way to do it. So you can just um, select that and E for erase. So another way to do it is just to use the, uh, the copy command. You can either click on it up here or type CO for copy. I'm going to type CO, press space or enter, select the object, and ask you for a displacement point. So we'll say this point, and then ask us where we want it to, and press there. And we have another copy. Another thing I sometimes do um, is depends on the situation. Is you can draw a line, say in the midpoint of this one, select that point and select the uh, the frame. Click on one of the uh, points there to turn it into a red hot hot grip, and scrolling through, pressing spacebar until we get to mirror, and then we can type C down here for copy, and we've Mirror to copy. Um, so those and erase them. 
and it does the same thing. There's always many different ways to do things in AutoCAD, um, so that's one way of doing it. So we'll continue finishing off our window with the, uh, with another line. So L, uh, space or enter uh, from that point to that point, and we'll show our glass. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, what we want want to do now is I put a, another window up there. Um, so we can do that by selecting all those objects, making a hot grip, scrolling through to move, then copy, and there we go. Now what we want to do now is we want to rotate that so it's facing the right direction. So a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, the way I usually use, which I think is a good method, is just select everything you want, uh, pick a grip from somewhere, make it hot grip again, scroll through down the bottom here until we get to rotate and then move the mouse around make sure you're still in ortho mode so you're snapping um, perpendicular and there you go we can move that now to the next spot which is pretty good now another thing to be aware of is if we were moving this window and we accidentally selected um, those extra lines which are the wall to undo that hold down the shift key and click the bits that you don't want. Um, so it's quite useful to have that because sometimes that happens and you just want to delete one or two objects and so that's a way to do it. Um, next thing we're going to look at is saying that, that we want this window to be a bit bigger than it actually is. So what we can do, um, I mean you could do it with um, extend and trim and all that sort of stuff but what we'll do is a lot easier. Um, we'll use the stretch command so I usually just use the command prompt version of this because I find that the um, the button one up here on the ribbon um, is a bit annoying. So to start the stretch command, type S for stretch, hit enter or space. Now it's asking us to select the objects. So with a little um, box, we can either pick the objects separately. Uh, what I normally like to do is just click. Um, a point and drag it to the left, you see the little window coming through and then um, left click again to select those objects so down the bottom here it now says select object still so we've done that so we can press space or enter now it's asking us for the displacement point so we'll pick here and it's asking us now uh, to pick where we want it to go to um, we can actually put in a, a value here so we can extend that to by 600 mil so 600 in the right direction and it's stretched our window wider. So that's quite a um, quite a useful thing as well. It's a lot of times you'll be stretching walls and so forth. Um, well that basically rounds up uh, lesson two um, and stay tuned for lesson three. Um, we'll look at some uh, blocks and hatches. Um, so, yeah, so thanks again for listening.